What, 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 what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza here. Uh, two uploads in a month, by the way. Isn't that kind of mad? That's a bit of a let's oge lad. Today, I wanted to talk about some goofy things that's been going on in my life, which weren't really worth making full length videos about, but I just wanted to compile them all into this video. So I'll put timestamps down below. Number one, I'm just down bad. I'm this close to just fit, just ending it all, guys. For the past three days of my life, I've spent nonstop building Lego. In fact, the past three days of my life have really just been a blur. I haven't left my room <laughs> for 72 hours. And the reason for this is because I've been building a 3,300 piece Captain America Lego shield. Now, I'm sure you guys already know the story. A YouTuber by the name of Joshua Tyler has been commenting for the past three months on all of my videos with the top comment being day X of asking Jojo to do Lego ASMR. And look, I wanna give back to you guys. If that's what you actually want to see, I'm gonna do my absolute best to make it happen. So I went to the actual Lego store in Sydney where I live, the biggest one I could find. And I went up to the Lego employee and I said, look, I have no experience with Lego. Can you recommend something for me that's gonna take 30 minutes to an hour? I wanna film it for my YouTube channel. Can you give me something that looks good, but you know, I'm not gonna, you know, die over essentially. And the guy, he sort of looked like he knew what he was talking about, but not really. He was a bit of, you know, complacent. And he said to me, yeah, no worries, bro. I got you, I'll help you out, no stress. Goes ahead and picks out the biggest thing in the entire store, which is this Captain America shield. Like, you know you're down bad when your Lego has an 18 plus age restriction on it. I didn't even know that was possible. So I look at this thing and I'm like, this is really impressive. And I said to him, this is 3,300 pieces on it. Are you sure this is gonna take 30 minutes to one hour? This is gonna take longer, right? And he said, nah, nah, all good, bro. It's gonna take you 30 minutes flat, no stress, bro. I'm like, all right. I mean, you're the guy with the Lego shirt on. You're the Lego employee. I'll take your word for it. That was a lie. That was just straight up cope. It had 26 bags of Lego inside of it, 3,000 pieces. For the past three days of my life, from dawn till dusk, I have been chairman and mayor of Lego City trying to put this shield together. It has been the most grueling, torturous, monotonous, mundane experience of my entire life. And the reason for this is because unlike other Lego builds where you're building like the foot or something, and then you have to build the body and all of the different parts are just unique. Imagine building something which takes you 20 minutes to do and then repeating that 35 times because a shield is essentially just the same pattern repeating over and over again in a circle. So I had to build something then I would have to repeat that 35 times. And the worst part was that there were times where I would build something incorrectly and then repeat that same mistake 35 more times, which just took so much more time. It was a hundred page manual and by the end of it, I wanted to jump off a bridge. I was pretty happy with the result, but at the end of the day, there was over 12 hours of footage that I now need to somehow sift through and condense into a YouTube video because I can't even get the footage on my computer because I decided to film it in 4K for some reason. So it's about two terabytes worth of me building Lego and just losing my sanity. It's just an awful situation. I would not recommend it to anyone. If you really want to torture yourself, buy this shield and try build it yourself and let me know how it goes for you. And the worst part about all of this was that after building it, I dropped the shield and it broke everywhere. So I was just so done at this point. It was three to four days of just touching Lego and it was all gone. So I just put it all in the bag and put it in my basement. In fact, I actually bet my friend who loves Lego and I said to him, I'll give you 200 bucks if you rebuild this shield correctly. So now we're seeing how that's gonna go and I'll keep you updated if he's able to actually rebuild this Lego shield, but I'll be surprised if he does. He's getting 200 bucks if he's able to do it. The second thing I wanted to address or really talk about in this video, if anything, was, um, a vocal minority of people who seem to have quite a bit of a problem for some reason of me making a video speaking in Russian of all things. I have over 1,300 videos on this YouTube channel, over eight years worth of content. 
And one of the things I like to do on this channel is make videos where I speak in different languages. I've done it before in the past in Japanese, in Korean, and I intend to do so in many other languages. However, some people were, and when I say some, I mean it's like six, were making comments where they were basically just saying, well, because you were speaking in Russian in a different language, you therefore don't care about what's going on in the Russian-Ukraine conflict, which I just find to be such a appalling and disingenuous misinterpretation of how I feel. It's not even accurate. I don't want to get political or discuss about what's going on in the world really on the internet because that can just create a whole different can of worms, which I'm not really interested in participating in. But obviously I condemn what's going on uh, in the Russian-Ukraine conflict particularly on Russia. It's not as if people all over the, across the world in every different country around the world speak Russian. It's one of the most commonly spoken languages in the world. Some of you might not actually know this, but 40 to 50% of Ukraine's population itself speaks Russian. So just because I make a video speaking in Russian, it doesn't mean at all somehow that I support what's going on. The last thing I wanted to quickly address in this video was apparently LunarX made a video response to my video the other day on her. And I was going to make like a full 10 minute long video breaking down everything and systematically, you know, invalidating all of her points. But I just felt like that wasn't really necessary and was, if anything, perpetuating unnecessary drama. Because the point of that video was to have fun, crack back and poke fun at something outrageous. She even said it herself in her videos that she uploads those wacky thumbnails because they're funny to her. And I found it funny too. Hence why I made the video calling her an AI bot and just poking fun at it and saying that it was copium, that she said it wasn't sexualized, yet here she was having literal human excrement and tents out of pants dripping down of her mouth. That's hilarious and that was funny. It wasn't meant to be a, some sort of targeted systematic bullying venture. She also went ahead and put a bunch of words in my mouth or made takes saying that I had said things which I simply did not, including apparently I said I'm the arbiter of ASMR, which if anything I've said in the past that I'm not. Frankly, who am I to judge or to be the, uh, I guess, the, 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 the warden that, or saying that I've said that you're not allowed to upload that sort of content on YouTube, which I've never said before. You're allowed to upload whatever you want to youtube.com, but if you upload something to the internet, it is allowed to be criticized. I've never said you couldn't upload the sort of stuff that you do. My point in that video was simply saying that it's hilarious and outrageous of you to upload a funny thumbnail and then change it. As you had said, it's funny. You also had one job in your entire video, which was to actually get the facts right and say that my channel has the correct amount of subscribers. You said it had 4 million subscribers, which it doesn't. And it was also disingenuous and misleading of you to have said a big channel with 4 million subscribers has made a video going after me when that's not true. It was on this channel, which has 250 something thousand only. And if anything, my videos get far less views than yours do on this second channel. It was just misleading. To make it clear, I have no problem actually with this person. I thought the video, if anything, was some lighthearted fun. And the reason you were the only subject in that video was because you were the only case that I could see of someone creating an outrageous thumbnail of them literally having tents come out in the thumbnail or excrement dripping and then change it a few hours later. I didn't see anyone else doing that. I'm sure I could find tons of other sexualized ASMR content creators, but that wasn't the point of the video. The whole point was that it was hilarious that you uploaded outrageous thumbnails and then changed it later. Nothing more, nothing less. And that I found it copium that you made a description saying that this wasn't for fetishization purposes when the thumbnails were clearly not demonstrating that. And to also then go ahead and pull out the gender card and say that I, for some reason, think it's not okay for female content creators to clickbait when men do it as well was just a totally borderline illogical opinion and was based in essentially no real fact. You're allowed to make whatever content you want. I even complimented you in the video saying that I think your content is highly produced, well edited, and a lot of care has been put into it. Again, I thought the video was lighthearted and fun, poking fun at an outrageous thumbnail, and then the fact that you would change it. And also just stating the fact that content like that existing as a consequence is going to affect the monetization of other creators. I know that's not your fault. You're just playing the game. It's YouTube's fault or anything, but I'm just stating a fact that that is how it is. 
I understand that just by talking about this and uploading it to a video that inevitably there are going to be some bad apples that are going to comment some mean things on your channel. To make it clear though, I don't support that, please don't do that, and if anything, you're not helping the situation whatsoever, you're just making it worse. Just like how in your video you didn't even address my name or tell your audience to attack me, yet there were still people who did so. That's just a natural consequence of being on the internet and uploading these videos to YouTube. And to like the four people out there who were saying, Jojo, just stay in your lane. She had nothing to do with you before this. Like, just mind your own business. I didn't think this was a huge drama thing. I just thought the thumbnails were outrageous and funny. So I just made a video laugh reacting at it. That was literally it. It wasn't meant to turn into this whole big thing. But to Luna, if you are watching this, I do apologize if I've caused you any distress or grief. That wasn't my intention at all. As you said, you upload those thumbnails because you think they're funny. I thought they were funny too and just was reacting to it. That's it. I've never said in that video that she should be cancelled, that people should dislike bomb her, that she should be removed off the platform. She's not like ghetto ASMR who's a borderline criminal. I just thought that it was funny and I wanted to make a video about it. I feel like nowadays people have like no skin. You should be able to make fun of each other and poke fun at each other. If people want to react to me and my imperfections, like my skin or my hair or whatever it is, go ahead, go for it. I don't care. And we should be allowed to have our opinions and poke fun at someone else's expense sometimes, especially when it's something outrageous, <laughs> like the thumbnail shenanigans that was going on. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Um, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza roleplay coming soon. I hate Lego.